Hi, this is a video to help people who are looking, who are interested in learning Icelandic and still looking for materials. Uh, I'm also going to be posting some links on here. Uh, Alright, so to begin with, uh, if you only speak English, some of these materials won't be available or won't be really useful to you. If you speak German, uh, or can at least have a, at least have a passive knowledge of it, uh, there are some amazing materials here that will really help and contribute to your uh, ability to learn Icelandic. All right, to begin with, uh, since this is an English video, we'll start with, uh, I think, probably one of the better books uh, in English, that's available in English. And that is Icelandic from Stefan Einarsson. Uh, so this is an older book, I believe around the time of World War II. It's an incredibly good book. It starts out with a grammar, then moves on to text, and then it has a glossary in the back. So it's one of the more old-fashioned methods. So as you can see here, there is the grammar. Uh, it goes from grammar, starts talking about syntax, uh, the inflections. And that's something with Icelandic. There are a, a lot of inflections. So that, for an example of that would be, uh, there are four cases. And you change the word, and here's a lighter example, but the word hest, hestur, which means horse, it becomes hestur, hest, hestum, hestsin, uh, hestni, hesti, and then hestsins. And that doesn't include the plurals, so there are four plurals as well. Uh, not the conjugations or the declinations of nouns is, or the inflections is hit or miss, not all of them decline, some of them decline very slightly, so it just depends. Uh, I believe it's very strongly in the masculine nouns that decline, um, which seems pretty common amongst a lot of the Germanic languages. But here we are with texts. Um, so, it starts out explaining some of the, the gramma, uh, grammar in Icelandic and then moves into English with the translation below. Uh, then it moves into the Iving or exercise and you're then given an exercise af that's in Icelandic and then afterwards an exercise in English or more information in English. Uh, the words or the vocabulary directly for the te each text is uh, follows it either underneath or on the preceding page. And then there's the exercise to translate into Icelandic. So this is for the most part, the book. There are quite a few texts in here, and they're, at least from my, at least my experience and my opinion, uh, pretty easy to go with. They're not too complicated starting out. There's no audio that I'm aware of that's available for this book, as it is uh, about 70 years old, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so this book is in German, but there is an English equivalent, and I believe that's the Teach Yourself. Uh, it's the book with CDs. So, from if you're familiar with Teach Yourself, there are they make quite a lot they make quite a lot of uh, language books. So for this one, I would actually recommend it. Um, it's the this one's obviously like I said the German version. The English version is going to be the same, um, but it's a pretty good book. It has 16 lessons. They start out with the texts, with the vocabulary underneath, and then they move into more grammar, more grammar, exercises, uh, more exercises with additional vocabulary. They Each one starts out with, for this version of the book, there's, usually, there's a lot of pictures in color. Uh, the English version, as I recall, doesn't actually have that. So afterwards, there's some more information on where you can find additional resources for Icelandic. Uh, such as Icelandic news, um, books, CDs, online things, and whatnot. There's exercise answers, or keys, and then there's vocabulary. So, pretty standard. A good book. Um, there's also an older version of the book, which is a benefit to some, for those of you who, or for some of, uh, for those of you who are learning a language that uh, Teach Yourself is made to of. So the older version of the book, however, is not quite as popular, at least from what I've seen. It's still a good book. You can pick it up relatively cheap in the States. It's, however, instead of uh, grammar translation, or instead of text translation, I should say, 
uh, it's very heavily grammar oriented. And there really aren't texts of which to speak, but lots and lots of examples. And towards the end of the book, there are more resembling texts uh, that do appear. There is or there's a smaller dictionary in the back, or there's a dictionary in the back. So it's still a good book. I believe I got that for four dollars. So it's certainly a good deal. Then there is the Icelandic uh, from Rutledge, uh, the complete course colloquial Icelandic, a complete course for beginners. Um, it's a very good book. There's audio available for it, which is good. Um, from the audio, from what I've seen from colloquial and uh, from Teach Yourself, they have very good quality in the audio, but their one major issue or flaw is that they have a lot of English, or in the German one, German, and mixed in with the language, so they'll be explaining the, uh, the scenario or the setup of a dialogue which isn't per se bad, but when you only want to hear the language you're trying to learn, or target language, it can be a little frustrating. If you're willing to, you can always edit it out. So we'll start with Unit 1. Velkommen til Island. So, welcome to Iceland, and it goes on with a dialogue, it explains. A lady named Joyce Williams is going to Iceland. So she start, and it starts with basic things that you would say. And then there's some language points, so grammar, some exercises, language points, dialogue, grammar, and that's pretty much how the book is, uh, what's going to be for a lot of them. There are reading passages in this, which do have translations in the back. So you have here, Fjölskilde fra Islandi, and here it is in Icelandic. And then in the back, there is Unit 1, Fjölskilde fra Islandi, a family from Iceland. Um, there is, of course, the vocabulary or glossary. So this book is very highly recommended. Again, the only downside for Teach Yourself and Colloquial is that the audio has a lot of uh, the language that it's taught in. Um, outside of the actual target language. For, all right, so with the next book, um, is a German book, and is a, uh, but is in English, French, German, and Icelandic. So there's an introduction in those four languages. Then afterwards, everything, all the, this is a conjugation book for Icelandic uh, nouns, I, or not nouns, but um, verbs. And all the conjugations are in Icelandic. In the back, however, what you would call a glossary, or I guess the closest thing to a glossary, is... In the, those four languages again. So, Sakna is Miss Fermissen Regretter. So, then it does that over and over. So, Icelandic, English, German, and French. Uh, is a pretty good book if you're going to go over the conjugations. Uh, again, Icelandic is a highly inflected language, so there's a lot of changing. Another quick resource is a Kindle. If you have one of these, you can get Icelandic books on here, and you can also get some of the free Icelandic sagas in Icelandic and put them on here. And as I recall, there should be a dictionary available for Icelandic. Um, and if there is, if it is available, I'm not thinking of a different language, all you do is hold down on a uh, word and the translation will come up. All right. Uh, I'll start now with some of the other materials that you can, after you've learned some Icelandic, you can use, uh, that you can read with an English text, or if you speak German, or whatever language, that is also available in Icelandic. These are more popular materials. Um, so here's the Bible in Icelandic. That's pretty standard. Uh, the Bible is pretty much going to be in any language. Afterwards, you have something like The Alchemist, and so what you want to do with this is, this is the German copy of The Alchemist, but um, you would read, let's say, the language you already speak well, so you'd read that, maybe a paragraph or so, and then you'd read it in Icelandic. Um, there are a lot of great materials available like this. Uh, here's the Icelandic audiobook in I a version of The Alchemist. Outside of that, I'm sure a lot of you will recognize this. Game of Thrones, Icelandic. 
you should have no trouble finding a copy of that in English. Uh, there's also Dan Brown's Angels and Demons, Alice in Wonderland, and of course the very famous Icelandic sagas. Uh, some of the Icelandic sagas, like I had on my Kindle, um, are going to be in the older format of Icelandic, um, which is my opinion, pretty easy to understand and pretty easy to find, uh, or pretty easy to read. It's not too, too difficult. But there's going to be some vocabulary meaning differences. It's, you know, older. Now, for those of you who do speak German or have at least a passive knowledge, here is the der Le Lehrbuch der Isländischen Sprache von Magnus Pietersson. And this is very similar to the Icelandic von Stefan, Stefan Enerson. Uh, it's a very good book, very solid, and it does have audio. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. There are 24 übungen or exercises, and those help with various vocabulary. So it has the same format, grammar, text, glossary. And then after that, there are texts uh, from various sources in Icelandic, I believe, such as newspapers and accounts of everyday Icelandic people. So it's a good book, um, very solid. The audio is decent. It's only the one speaker, I believe, the man who wrote it himself. It's an older, a little bit older, um, but it's understandable. So that can be helpful, and that is available. The next one is, and this is one of my absolute favorites, so if you can speak German, you absolutely have to have this book to learn Icelandic. Ein Lehrbuch für Anfänger und Fortgeschrittene. Uh, you can order this on Amazon.com or in America. This book is, in my opinion, one of the best books to learn Icelandic. Uh, one of the main reasons why is there are 18 lessons. Each lesson begins with uh, text, and then moves and it has the exp or it has the text, which clarifies what's going on. Uh, so it has the characters and involved in the basic. It has a basically one story throughout the same throughout the whole of the book. This text explains uh, they're going to Iceland. Here's the vocabulary underneath, and then afterwards is the dialogue. So that's the dialogue of those people speaking. Vocabulary underneath. And then it goes into grammar. Uh, after grammar, and some of the goes over the conjugations, the uh, plur the singulars, plurals of words. Then moves into a little bit of information on Iceland in German. Then goes into phrases, and those are all recorded. And the recording for this book is absolutely good. Uh, it is absolutely better than any of the other recordings I've heard. It is only in Icelandic. The CD comes with the book. Um, I don't if it's used. That might not be the case, but the newer version of the book, which I believe you can get for about thirty-five dollars, uh, comes with the CD. There, are, and the the audio is really solid, very clear. There are multiple speakers, and it's extra, extra good, uh, or extra, extra solid in comparison to many of the other audios that are available. Or just the overall quality is extremely good in comparison. So. It goes on for 18 lessons. There are some conjugation tables or declination tables in the back. And then so like some of the keys to the exercises and, of course, it, your standard glossary. Solid, solid book. Uh, for those of you who are visiting Iceland and speak German, here is Icelandic word for word. Uh, it's tip technically more of a phrase book, but there's grammar. There is a word, word book uh, dictionary at the end of this one. There's, so the grammar shows you a lot of the conjugations, and there's also many of the phrases. Uh, it's a very solid book. And then there are two dictionaries available in German, or two primary dictionaries. This one has 65,000 words from German to in Icelandic. And this one has, is from Icelandic to German, has about 18,000 entries. So these are most of the materials available for Icelandic. Um, there are many materials also available in Danish, and if you can speak Danish, Swedish, or Norwegian, obviously those are going to be an option. I'm going to link to some of the materials down below. So hopefully this helps anybody uh, who, has, who has been interested in learning Icelandic.
Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them.